So I have a laser beam, which is on a stand that I can just uh, you know, put it on so that it just turns on the laser. Oops. Um, so that it just turns on the laser. Um, and I'm going to place this plate in front of it. It's a special made plate that you are going to be using in the lab next two week. Let me just uh, pass this around so that you can take a quick look at it. It has a bunch of slits made in it. And what I'm going to be using is, um, so when you look down one of the edge rows, there's a two slit, a rows of two slits at different distances. So that's what I'm going to be placing in front of this laser to see what happens. Um, oh, I, yeah, I probably should have played with the fuck. So let me um, try to place this. And by changing the distance, I can use different slits. So let's see. Um, so this is one with, uh, with uh, um, two slits separated by very little. In fact, I think that is actually essentially just one slit. Let me go up one more. So this is the kind of intensity pattern you see. Um, when you have uh, light that's uh, coming through two slits. Um, I think those of you who are sitting up front can probably see it. The intensity pattern that you see is um, it's an alternating pattern of light, dark, light, dark. I have these things um, ready to sh show you for on camera for those of you who are a little bit farther away. Um, let me turn this on. Bring up camera. Okay, so I have this camera. Um, let me just bring it to the right place where I can um, just to show it to you. Sorry, it's gonna be a little bit dizzy. If you have to look away, look away. Um, all right. Am I doing this right? Yeah, okay. Uh, let me uh, change the exposure a little bit. Sorry, I think I should be on this side. I can't to look at the screen while I'm doing this. <coughs> so that's uh, what we call double slit interference pattern. Do you see the alternating, um, alternating fringes of bright and dark? Yes. So this is typical of um, interference, especially those dark fringes that's taken as the um, conclusive evidence that light is wave. So if you are reading through the textbook, what you would have read was there was some debate about the nature of light in starting with the 1600s from the time of Newton. And the debate got settled with an uh, experiment called Young's double slit um, interference. And that came at eight, early 1800s. So when that experiment was done, people still didn't know that light was electromagnetic wave. So even then people, uh, through experiments like this, people knew that light had to be some kind of wave. We, we don't know wave of what, but the only way to get this destructive interference, the dark fringes, was if the underlying nature of this light is actually wave, not particles. 